I'm here because I know that as Dene people, we are connected to the land. Our culture, our language, our very survival and essence of who we are is connected to the land. We are also trying to protect as much of the land as possible to make sure that it sustains us to provide the food, the caribou, the moose, the fish, the wildlife that we need as food source to protect the water as a source of drinking water for us and for all wildlife. We are also trying to figure out, and I think this is for me the priority, the land sustains us. There's an energy, a power, a spirit that comes from the land. And so when we are out on the land, whether we're hunting, we're out traveling on the land, we are hunting, trapping, fishing, sleeping out on the land. Every one of us as indigenous people, we get an enormous amount of energy. It, it, it confirms we are of the land. It is our identity. This is the spirit of who we are, why we're in the universe. So it comes then to a number of questions. How do you sustain, how do you connect to the land in a way and enrich your culture through that connection and get the energy you need to sustain yourself when you are not on the land anymore, when you're in a city, when you're traveling, when you're living in a community, in a town. How do we find a way to sustain that? Because we know that every time we bring our people out on the land and we live in our traditions and practice our culture and connect to our, our language, our words, that we feel good, we're empowered, we are healthy. And yet many of us, the moment we're back in the community, we turn to a dysfunctional life. We are into alcohol and drugs and family violence and slowly self-destructing. So the question is, how do we take what is so good for us and take as much of that as possible and carry it with us always? So no matter where we are, we have connection and an ability to connect to that source. That's why I'm here. I want to talk about it and get people to think about it because creating protected areas, conserving water, animals, land, is only a small part of what we need. As Dene people, we are not going to survive on this. We tackle that very central question because we're, we're a people who have been weakened We've been colonized, we have been scattered, and we have been devastated by government policy, such as the residential schools. And not all of us are living a healthy life, and, but all of us know that when we are on the land, when we're out hunting, we're connecting, to the trees and the willows and the birds and the ducks and the animals, we feel an incredible sense of well-being, that we are part of 
the universe, we belong and we have infinite power. <laughs>